I, you know, I had to make sure that my parents will let me go to this particular state. And therefore, I really had to deserve it. So to make this happen, as soon as I get home from school, as soon as I got home, I would do my homework. And I was doing this for, let's say, 21 to 30 days. And from another program, you know what that does to your habits. But I didn't know the research done at Case Western Reserve University showed that making a small changes in your habits, such as brushing your teeth with your non-dominant hand, can actually improve your willpower. It's interestingly enough, I probably have hundreds if not thousands of students who are actually who have tried this exercise and they tell me that works. So brushing your teeth with non-dominant hand can actually improve your willpower. So just do something you have never done before. Uh, like me, doing that homework, remember? Doing the homework immediately after getting home from school. That's something I, you know, first time. I was, I'd never done that before. So I improved my willpower. And uh, if you do something you have never done before, chances are you will increase your willpower as well. Now, where do you think I would leave my sled? Yeah, you guessed it, right by the door, so that there is no more than 20 seconds away from me, and it will give me that sparkle, the, the activation energy to get me going. Uh, now I know that research done by Michael Check Mihail on activation energy and work done by Sean Aker shows that the activation energy or, and or this 20 second rule will help us increase a chance of starting a new habit. Now, many friends from my neighborhood would go together and we would support each other. You know, Nino was my accountability partner. And uh, for some reason, if one of us couldn't go, let's say our parents wouldn't let us, we would support each other and find a way, maybe help each other to sneak out of the house. Now, don't let your kids do this. But I didn't know there was research published in British Medical Journal that shows that those people in support group lost 15 pounds more on average than those with no support. So support is extremely important uh, when you're ready to establish your new habit. You know, Dr. Martin Seligman, we talked about Marty earlier, uh, and uh, he uses this actually same secrets. Uh, he has a group of people that um, they have a pedometer, they measure how many steps they do daily, and if he, um, you know, if he doesn't walk 10,000 steps a day, he will go out to finish it, or uh, he will be uh, forced by other people to do that, by, by his support group. Now, think about who will hold you accountable to start and keep going with a new habit. Who will hold you accountable to start with this new habit? You got the name? Good. So, uh, in a moment, just please pause this lesson again. Take your card, the 30-day challenge card we started earlier to fill out. And uh, uh, when you pause this tape, just write down the date when you're going to start your new habit. And ideally, it's today. If you can start today or tomorrow, uh, but don't say, you know, six months from now. Let's start that new habit now. And uh, get it right now if it's possible, again. And the name, give the name. Who is your accountability partner? Write down your accountability partner. Okay, so you just made a commitment to start a new habit, and I'm sure you will uh, continue doing this. And see, finally, I would tell everyone, you know, before winter even started, that I'm going to this hilly street at least five days a week. Now, of course... I never told this to my parents. It was, it was a dangerous street. They knew I was going to go there. But I didn't make that commitment to them. I committed to my friends. But again, back then, did I know? No. There was a research done by William James. And we referenced, we talked about William James briefly earlier when we talked about neuroplasticity. But when he referenced philosopher Alexander Bain, who recommended, I quote, in the acquisition of a new habit, or the leaving of an old one, we must take a public pledge. End of quote. 
So we must take a public pledge. You want to, you want to create a new habit? You must take a public pledge. So let's all together, let's all of us together, if you have a friends in your room, if you're studying this subject with someone, uh, let's just uh, take a public pledge right now. So, but I mean it now. So if there's someone in this place where you watch this lesson, go tell them right now. Go downstairs, upstairs, kitchen, wherever they are. Tell them what habit you are going to implement and when is your start date. Now, more people in the room, tell everyone. Do it now. Stop the program. Go tell them. Come back in a second. I'll wait for you. I'll wait. Go tell everyone. Now, make sure, make sure you come back, okay? Don't just go and tell the whole world and run around. Come back. Okay. For some of us that, now that you're back, for some of us that use technology, well, you obviously are because you're watching this lesson, uh, watching this online program. Um, uh, please, go on Facebook, Twitter, email, you know, LinkedIn, whatever works for you, and make this announcement. I encourage you to go to my Facebook page, and here's a Facebook page, it's bratso.pobrik, just my first name, that last name, and just make an announcement there. There's a, so personally, I can hold you accountable for your new habit, and trust me, if I hold you accountable, you will establish your new habit. <laughs> so, now just go ahead. Uh, and create that new track, that new neural pathway, just as I did when I was sledding down from that hill, remember? And uh, uh, remember, my friends, when I was sledding down and I created a new habit? Do the same way you will create your new neural pathway in your brain. Let's recap. There are seven secrets to successful habit change and habit creation. And here are the seven secrets. Awesome. Have fun and happy new habits.